Today we are doing a 10 minute postpartum arm and upper body workout. If you're following along with my new postpartum challenge, today is day four. If you don't know about the challenge, I will link in the description box. I will be using light three pound dumbbells. You will not want your weights to be too heavy for this workout. We'll be doing a lot of pulsing, filled water bottles or cans of beans will also work great. Let's do a few arm circles before we get onto all fours. Keeping your ribs pulled down and in, you can start to take some deep breaths into your side and back ribs. As you exhale, engage your core. Good, taking one arm across. Other side. And taking your hand behind your head, elbow points up. Switching sides. Good, let's get on to all fours. I will give you two options for this first exercise. If you have diastasis recti, you can stick with quadruped push up here, shifting your weight slightly forward to take the weight of your upper body. If it's safe for you and you're not getting any coning down your midline, you could move back to a kneeling plank position. Wherever you are, engaging your core. Now let's center one knee. We'll extend our leg out behind us. Again, shifting your weight slightly forward. Switching to the other side. Placing both knees on the ground, let's squeeze our shoulder blades together and then push them apart again. Getting a big range of motion, core is engaged. Let's tuck our toes, or if you have diastasis recti, you can dig your knees into the ground. <sighs> Lifting, bear hover, releasing down. Big inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, release down, expanding through your ribs. Exhale, engaging your core, lift. Good, move with your breath. Release, and we'll set up again for hold, using your diaphragmatic breath, keeping your core engaged. These are down if you have diastasis recti and you're just practicing your 360 breath. Release, let's grab a quick sip of water and rest our arms. We can grab our weights or water bottles and come up to standing. 
arms out to the side and we're flip them over. Core is strong. Release, big breath. Pressing it up. Shoulders are nice and low. Setting up for tricep pulses, lots of length in your spine. Making this a core workout as well, really engaging your core. Let's come into a sumo squat here. Elbows together, pulsing up. Release, we'll punch and exhale as we lift our knee. Palms up, we're gonna crisscross. Refocusing on your core. We're gonna start with our palms forward, rotating them in. My arms are burning. <laughs> We're gonna set up to hold. Steady diaphragmatic breaths. Amazing release, setting up to hold again. Tricep. Squeezing your arms up and together. Re-engaging your core. You could also add some pelvic floor contractions. Amazing. We're gonna hold now in front. Option to balance on one foot. Hold your arms, switch to the other foot if you're balancing. Uh, 
amazing job. We can place our weights down. Let's shake it out. Keeping your ribs pulled down here, let's clasp our elbows or our hands, opening up through your chest, externally rotating your arms. Good, release. We can cross one arm in front. Other side. Tricep stretch, really pushing your elbow back. Gently release. Release. You can either stretch your arms open like this, or if you have a wall, you could walk to the wall and then turn your feet around to gently stretch through your chest and shoulder. It should not be painful at all. Slowly walk back towards the wall, switching to the other side. Good, gently unwinding. You did an amazing job. I hope that your arms felt the burn. If you finished day four of the challenge, give me a strong arm emoji in the comments below. If you are enjoying all my free workouts, the best way to support me is to make sure that you're subscribed and turn your notifications on.